All right, we've been talking about this during our <laughs> commercial break. Uh, Britney Spears, well, there's a new documentary out right now about Britney Spears. I was telling you, I watched it overnight. More people are starting to see it's this It's a hot now. topic right now. Yeah. It, it is. It just came out on Friday, and I feel like um, because of the Super Bowl, you know, we're talking about it now. Like, yes. Okay, we, yeah. we have time to watch we it now. The <laughs> right? It's called uh, Framing Britney Spears, and it uh, was on FX. It's also on Hulu. Social media buzzing about it, mostly about this Justin Timberlake interview uh, that airs in the documentary. Although Justin says that all the lyrics on his new CD come from his own experience, he denies that any were written specifically for Britney. Yet when we sat down at the piano and asked him to play something from Justified, he chose instead to play a song that nobody has ever heard before. Interesting lyrics. Thought I love so strong I guess I was dead wrong but to look at it positively, hey girl, at least you gave me another song about a horrible woman. So that interview is from 2002. Oh. I, I do laugh a little that he's singing about a horrible woman in front of Barbara Walters. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, so this is one of the pieces of the yeah of the documentary that a lot of Britney fans are stressing out about. You know, honestly, there's so much to unpack here and. This is an interview that isn't new, that obviously aired on 2020, right, yeah. um, but it's just one of the reasons that people are putting the, it's basically about putting the pieces together about Britney Spears' life and how she ended up in the spot and, she's in today. And I feel like, I don't know, yeah, like you said, it's such a complex, there's so much that goes into right. it. In the end, I just think, you know, it's kind of sad right now. I think it is sad. A, the, end, and <laughs> the ending feeling. And we see, you know, we follow her on Instagram here at the station, a lot of us do, and it's, it's, it's sad to watch it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm definitely going to finish sad. watching that For sure. uh, this week. Also this morning, talking about Halle Berry, she's the next big celeb to put a stop to social media trolls. She recently posted something on Instagram that caused an Instagram user to say to her, with all of your accomplishments, fame, beauty, it seems as if you can't keep a man. I get the feeling you're too controlling, demanding, and probably full of yourself. To which she said, who said I wanted to keep them? I'm all about living your best life. And if you make a wrong move, course correct and respin and start again. Obviously, we talked about J-Lo yeah. doing something similar um, and Michelle Williams, tons of celebrities. I respect them so much for reaching out to these trolls. And, I know. You Know, combating them. I know. <laughs> <laughs> also this morning, Dua Lipa in the news after releasing uh, the track list for Future Nostalgia, the Moonlight Edition, which is kind of a new album. Uh, the last album was actually called Future Nostalgia and featured most of these songs, uh, but she's added four new ones. Okay. The most gossip-worthy track, though, is If It Ain't Me, which was supposed to feature Normani. A lot of fans are mad because I know you can't read it that small, but it does not feature Normani on the track oh. list. So, uh, looking so, for, so we'll have to wait and see have. what happened there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we want to hear from our morning mug club today. It is National Pizza Day. We're going to be talking about pizza with Michelle in just a little bit, but we want to know your favorite kind.